Alright. Looks like everything's set. I'm not even going to bother with an intro. Let's just go. Oh, shite. My VC face thing. Hold on. Come on, be nice to me. I'm a rookie. Leave me alone. Thank you. All right, there it goes. Awesomeness. Handed. I leave that alone for right now. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Oh, accessibility options. Yeah, I don't really need this. My 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 speaker's in the way. But I couldn't see what the. Yeah. Okay. Claim your rewards. I guess no uh phantom is the one that bought this for me so link your harry potter fan club account yeah i don't have one of those i'm not gonna borrow hers i don't feel right so skip that <laughs> just a slider into the images barely visible oh Oh, so it's gonna be kind of like you're wielding a wand? That's interesting. Uh, while outline indicates the target, A mode L2 reveals additional secondary targets as a rectile. Oh, I'm glad I missed on reading that. <laughs> Professor Weasley? Deputy Headmaster. Okay, hold on. I we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Okay, so I don't need to get the start at the beginning, got it. Term begins September 1st, or 1st September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery Prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term fees at the ceremony. Oh! Okay. So, do you like... Ah, there we go. Uh, no. I'm gonna try and make it look like my- ooh! Uh, glasses.
there like a light blue? No, because that's not black. That's just really dark brown. There's like a blue in here that I saw. Oh, that's blue. Yeah, it's not blue enough. Yeah, it's just a really dark brown. I don't like that. No, go back. Blue. It's turquoise-ish, but whatever. Let me verify. Because I have a memory span of a flea. Definitely not. Yeah, I like that. Okay, this one? Oh, heck no. Yeah, no, thank you. Freckles and moles. Yeah, I don't want. Picture perfect skin. How about that? Flawless. <laughs> I'm really curious what this one looks like, though. And I have like really bright red eyes, that'd be cool. We got purple, where's red? I'm looking for red. Alright. Eh, fine, we'll go with the one that was closer to my hair color. There we go. No eyebrows. No! Eh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, I like those. Alright. That was quite something. Uh. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. No. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That one. Is this 
gonna call me hey you. I know it's like for lore sake or whatever for like documents and crap, but... That's my Jenny. That is a very long skirt. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Vig. I appreciate you working with me before the town begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Goofy to me. There's the music we know. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Uh. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. 
It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh shit! <laughs> well, he's dead. Turn on my light real quick. You gotta help my avatar. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Covered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. around over here because there's always hidden secrets behind you. Alright, I'm not seeing anything though, so maybe I was tricked. Can you run? Oh, pulled up my wand. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Hey, Phantom. Seems to have been lost to time. How's it going? Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Sir, why was 
Is your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Enjoy Miriam that wanted to understand yeah. why such powerful yeah, cool. magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. I'm but trying magic to listen to is no and different than any time. power. <laughs> what really matters is the one who wields it. I have no idea what's going on with my avatar. Like, is that what? ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. I will, but one sec. Uh, let me see here. I want to reset my avatar real quick. Give me one sec. I'm not even going to take like a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if that helps it at all, but I'm... Because all I did was like, do like a reset position type thing. Alright. Let's see. What was he saying? R2. I'm pressing R2. Oh, tap! <laughs> camera to select active targets. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. By disabling camera related targeting and settings. I'm probably going to have to do that. Oh, hold it down. <clears throat> that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Stuff over here. I knew it. Can I attack my teacher? I'm not gonna attempt. We're He's close nice now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Oh, the treasure chest? Yeah, they always want to make you, like, go on the linear path and, like, be like, oh, there's nothing over there, you don't need to worry. And then there's, like, massive treasure. Every time. Or a collectible. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Privacy. That poor kid let us here for a reason. Sorry, thank you. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Everything out over here seems out of place. The mini map shows you your surroundings. Press it to. Okay. okay. My dad told me about the chest and had a couple more. Yeah, I'm gonna miss like 90% of them. I'm not, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like right now. Ooh, investigate. 
Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. I see something but enchanted me. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Can I walk through it? Or I have to wait for him to show up. Ah. Uh. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Is that a goblin? Hello? Yeah, it's a goblin. Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. He's nice, I swear. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. Uh. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. It seems nice, but so this the way, other goblins then. in the movies. Stay close. After you. Acting kind of suspicious. Uh, keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Green Books? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after... I know, was right? Like, I was just ago. thinking the same thing. I was like, if this isn't a ride at Universal, it needs to Settle be. In. We have quite a distance to go. Like she's half asleep or startled. There's no in between. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Hmm? 
armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. The he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Is her name the Harry Potter OC you told me about? Uh, Here we technically, are. but no, if you remember, Irene is technically my Harry Potter OC. I couldn't create Irene in here. I tried, but the hair wasn't dark enough. When was and the last they couldn't time make this uh, was red eyes. A goblin shade. has been stationed at my desk so for hundreds of years. Different. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? There's a chest here right sure. before you go in. Oh, Sir, shite! I, I didn't see it. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Good luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, God. Okay, steady your wand with L and then guide it through the symbol. Oh, God. I'm gonna suck so hard at this game. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Um, maybe I shouldn't have stepped on it. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. 
Hmm. Revelia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Not oh, great. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Boss battle. Yep. Look out. Isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. At Blanket. Do one answer or to find out. I'll find out, and then if I get like super stuck, I'll I'll call on you. <laughs> oh shit! Rebellia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Potato. Oops. Lumos. I will eventually get used to this. statues with their reflections.
I need to get them all to stand at once. try this for a little bit and then I'll call on you if I need it. Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once? isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. They're blowing me. Ravenia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, shite. Nice! <laughs> I did it too quickly. Nice to know. Oh, shite.
die? What hit me? Ah, shit. I just hit a checkpoint of sorts because uh, I have no potions left and I need my friend. Treasure chests. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Well, I told them jack shit. <laughs> That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. 
Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. See, he can have red eyes. Why can't I have red eyes? <laughs> Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Hogwarts. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Well, this is taking a while. Yeah, I like the game so far. It's pretty interesting. <sighs> there it goes. Oh, good. 
We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I wish I need magic to study like that existed. As soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Ooh. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Okay, I really don't like him already. I'll be in touch. Then again, I'm putting him up against Algus. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. She sounds like Mrs. Putz. He's an ass and hate him. You'll hate him as the game goes. I already hate him. Uh oh. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. She's one of my favorite teachers, and she does. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Now start classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. I wonder. Mmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of. Mmm. What is it? Curiosity, ambition. Just a curiosity. A uh, desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever in. I'm gonna get put in Ravenclaw. You have the ability I wanna be put in Slytherin, but I'm clearly on Ravenclaw. that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Oh, thank God, I could choose a different house. I want... Yes, give me Slytherin. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. You belong in Slytherin! Thank God! I've been a Slytherin in my core forever. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Dick. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. 
I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Hey, my girl just got there. She hasn't gotten a chance to eat. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. He couldn't even let us have a conversation. He's it's quite dick. uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. But only the first night. Every other night you have to sleep with the pigs. Like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I don't look around. Come on, that's my common room. That's my dorm, man. Uh oh. I hear a clover. I hear my kitty kitty. That's one thing that drove me nuts in the uh, the movies is that there's so many students per house, but yet there's only like four beds per room. I mean, like maybe they've got like magic doors and stuff, so there's more rooms, but I don't know. Can I come in here? I can. Ah, so there are more uh, beds. Ooh. Clover acts up. I'm gonna have to go and get her. I wanna look at these different rooms. Come on. Don't be making me do crap just yet. Treasure chest. Friend, what you doing? Okay, nice chat. Um, 
place is freaking awesome. supposed to do something, but I don't know. Oh, hey, I finally got to eat something. Can I go in here? Ah, uh, it's more bedrooms. Rebellion. Level two lock. Fine. So mean to me. Alright, fine. I guess I'll progress the game. Oh, wait. No. This portrait's moving. I wish they made to be required. Nah. Like, they did that in freaking... They did that in, uh... What do you call it? dark cloud and it drove me nuts and again it had so many mechanics that made it very tricky for that game it's like you had to do eating you had to uh, have water and it like would deplete within I under like two minutes me. each and you were only given like one Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. That was terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. So now I'm kind of curious if I've been in Ravenclaw. Would he be in Ravenclaw too, or is it like separate characters each time you do a different house? I'm kind of curious on that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I did it anyway. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here. Watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Different characters for different houses. You will meet everyone through ah, our Ah, I know who oh, you nice. are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you fly a lot? You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. 
there's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Ah, hold on, no! Phantom, my bot just blocked you for some reason. Hell no. What the hell? Exper not exp not posted the chat. Bite me! Let let my friend talk. What in the actual hell? Maybe because I cursed. Yeah, that's exactly why. Because it highlighted, uh... It highlighted the Hershey's a bitch, uh... In the thing. I don't care. I, I still don't... I don't care about that. Like... Show messages caught by, uh... Auto mod. There. No. Yeah, show the message. Deleted messages, pause chat, pop out chat. No. Emote only. What the frick? Messages containing these terms and phrases will be allowed in chat. Terms are automatically added. Okay, maybe that did it. I don't know, like, it's not gonna let me... Auto mod. How do I... Introducing auto mod. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of crap. I'll have to look into that later. Make sure that... That's just annoying. I just gotta put this back up. There, I, I don't know if it's showing in chat, but I added some cuss words that are permitted. Because I don't care. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Slytherins aren't supposed to be this nice. I really hope we get to see the Forest Mist of Elon today. I, I think I heard one. I doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Is he blind? Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh, I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. You expect you... You expect you'd be in... Uh, huh? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did 
that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Spin. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Hi. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. This way. Okay, but this thing's glowing. Hold on. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Is that a Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue Revelio. and see what details the field guide can provide? Uh, depicts Clippy, a ship shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned uh, long maned horse and a large Clippy never reported is the is a Loch Ness monster in Scotland. So much collection. Definitely not uh, getting all the uh, what you call it. Uh, rewards have been claimed. That's why I'll come back. Now. That's fine. Definitely not going to be able to collect everything. I lose my mind. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. 
Oh, hey! There's something there. Oh, wait, no, that was that chest that was locked. That's fine. Ah! I didn't mean to hurt her! Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. The flu flames available in the region. Until you what to fly? Oh, learn to fly. I didn't have my chat all the way over. I'm gonna get lost so hard. I have the directional fly, uh, directional skills of a fly. I bash my head against windows. I still get lost, yeah. Just curious, um, you gave me this one because you got the PS5 version. Um, when you loaded up the PS5, did it like save your data or did you have to create a whole new character and stuff? And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Pavelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Uh huh. What you got? What are you? Hello? That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I don't want to 
lie to her, but I don't want to lie to my friend. Uh, okay, I'm gonna actually ask which one's the best option to use. Because I feel like a dick way no matter what. I like Weasley and I also like Fig. I'm stabbing one of them in the back. about to flip a coin. I, 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 uh, I don't. Uh, if you lie, she knows it. But doesn't push it. Uh, I don't want to know. Fuck it. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hello. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Oh my god, did he actually make the uh, Marauder's map? Uh, represents quests, completing ma main quests will further the story, unlock new features. Yay! Some quests are locked. Okay. Track a quest with... Oh. Want defense first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. 
You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. This is a uh, cast compass will lead you to where you are supposed to be. Ah. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Rebellion. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. You can get all Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Empty frame. Where is she? Ah. I wish they'd let the Roman kill the entire curriculum. Tom is the only class I can stay away from. If I had to take a show there. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Piece of paper flying. Oh, God, what the hell? Okay, um, It's a page you need to attend charms to learn that spell and that door is a number problem. I, 
I failed math in high school. This isn't fair. I didn't actually fail math in high school. Okay, so. Okay. But what does that mean? Okay, you see each of the creatures on the side? Yeah. Yeah, like you got spiders and I'm guessing that's like a hydra or something or a unicorn. Rebellion. Did I just see one of them glow, or was that that was just was that a trick of my eye? Okay, yeah, it was just a lighting. It goes from zero to nine from left to right. You just need to finish the number until you get to a certain number. What? So, whatever the hell that thing is. I am so freaking confused. Where's that paper? I wanna- I wanna shoot it down. You can't shoot down the paper. <sighs> All right. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 I see what you're talking about now. Okay. Um. Hold on. So Hydra thing would technically be nine. The Hydra thing would technically be nine. Um. That thing up there would technically be six. So six plus nine minus seventeen. Six plus nine minus seventeen. So two. So that one so that's unicorn. So the top one, it's unicorn, right? Oh, I have to do the top one first, don't I? Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Never mind. What the hell? Hey! You, stupid piece of paper. Spin the globe. Uh. <clears throat> okay. So, it goes from zero to nine. Uh, so that's actually five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! So that was actually a five. So I needed a three, which is that, that weird looking thing. Or not. My brain hurts. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, let's do the goat one on top first. So, 11 plus goat. Or whatever the hell that thing is. Uh, 11 plus 2 minus 21. So that's 8. 
So that would be the spider. There we go. Revenue. Yeah, so Lumos. It's on the spider, right? Yeah. The first one is spider. Damn paper! There's two of those dials. They're always close to one another. Ah! Now you tell me. There's two of the dials. Where's the other one? Top one is correct. Look up. Look up. Look up where? I don't. Rebellion. Okay. Thank you. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that is. Okay, I just gotta remember which one it is. Um so Hydra thing is nine. Nine and then one, two, three, four, five. So that's minus five. So you, that the third one needs to be that weird dragon thing. I'm gonna be so mad if this isn't even worth it. Wait. That wasn't it, was it? Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, I guess it was. Sweet. Ooh. Costume change? Nice. Wait, can you costume change? Gear. Let me see. No, don't put me in my friggin' jammies. Face wear. I do not want hand wear. Ooh, I can wear gloves. Yes, please. Head wear. Hat. No. Neck wear. Cloak and robes. My fur coat. I like my fur coat, but for right now I just started, so. Inventory. I've got nothing. I've got no talents. Charms, charms, charms. Okay. What are these? Like, main quests, no assignments, no relationship quests. Hover. Oh, if you keep the... If you're 
if you're over the type that you can oh if you hover over the type you can change the look of something in gear while keeping the statues of something so like come over here and change appearance Hmm. Oh! I saw that. Hold on. No! Go back! <laughs> I'm just kind of curious at this point. You know, I was just curious on that. I'll get the class eventually. No. I'm just going to explore. Was it the Vengeance of Angelica or three? Oh, I see a. I've oh, always a said that travel broadens the mind. I don't need a flu network right now because I want to look around. I'm not going to be able to shoot down that paper. Where's the paper? What's over here? Ooh. Well. You. Oh, it's a library. Hmm. Professor Black, I might might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section and Cassandra Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal area in which to practice her latest incantations. It's most disturb uh, disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison. Ooh. Like, I never got the chance to finish reading the books, but I'm wondering if um, Peeves is in here. Like, I haven't seen any ghosts yet. He is very fascinated by that globe. At least I hope that's what he's doing. Ha Can't climb ladders. Fail. If there's a dog in here later and I can't pet it, this is a failure of a game. I hate it when games don't let me pet the dogs. Or the cats. Ah, oh, speaking of cats, Clover's acting up again. Hold up. I gotta get a clover. One sec. Hi. Ugh. Come here. Ugh, I got a clover. You guys can't see her, but I got some clover. And she's a very clingy. Ah, no. Ah, no. Hold on. It's over. You wanted attention. I'm going to give it to you. But I'm also not going to stop playing my game. Come here. 
I haven't seen dogs, sadly, but there are cats that you can pet. Yay! I love it. No, Clover. Speaking of cats, Clover's being very clean. Just chill out in my room, okay? Just don't go tearing stuff up again. Rebellion. If it clinks like that, does that mean I found something? Photos, I don't like it. Pavilion. Lumos. Clover's buried herself in one of my cubbies. Rebellion. Sure these characters are tired of me messing with their stuff. I think I see something down there. I see something. You're mine. Clover, you better not be tearing stuff up over there. the restricted section. You suck. That's ah, another flu network. I don't want that. I want to look around. I don't even think I'm going to get to my next objective. Uh, by the time I'm done here, because I just want to look around now. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I tried to transfigure my parchment into a blank. It would have been fine if I hadn't caught fire. If 
back to the library, isn't it? Yeah, that's just the library. I don't need the hair again. Pavilion. I'm about to see the Professor Sprout. You're not a food network. I don't think so. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and at least do one class, and then I'm gonna call it quits. So let me find out. Food network. Need to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Ravenia. Uh, Flu Network, where are you? The one time I actually need you and you're not here. There you are. What are you up to now? Access the book. I guess I'm doing it the long way. I can't remember how to get the flu network thing to work. The Ronin tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the letter. Oh, that's why. Where were you? Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fine! Oh, not one of these again! Or the minister of Flack. In trouble you will be, but I blame you, Val Phantom. You're the one that turned me on to this game. And he says it's a flat. Thieves, enough! You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black! <laughs> so this is... <laughs> I'm 
I'm not actually mad at you. Distinguished school robes. Okay. All right. Wait, did he actually leave? Oh, he left. Try to kill me? Oh no, that's kind of cool. All right. Ravenia. I have a feeling I'm going the completely wrong way. Yeah, this is a straw. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, I have a feeling I went really the wrong way. Yeah, there's gotta be like another fireplace or something around here. And this is where Dumbledore died. Or maybe it was more up here. I don't know. Oh, hey, I found her! Hello. I was tracking going to charms class. If you hold R2, the spell will and the spell it turns the lights off. I was trying, and that's what I was.
try it. Slow coach! Slow coach! He tried studying the Bible. Ah, here we go. Found it. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> Not it. the looks of it, you all spent your holidays <laughs> practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? I'm calling hmm. BS for fifth well, years. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad you are a swift learner I see a lot of potential but remember potential is nothing without practice keep at it you might just rival miss on I here very good everyone that's enough of that well as you all seem to have the basic oh, stuff and it's an exceptionally you. lovely day I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them. Excellent control there. Splendid! Not to worry. 
Very good. Stay focused. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. <laughs> You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. Hey, at least I got some points. I know I'm not gonna win. There we go. Oh, that was an execution. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. you dare. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. 
I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a, a word items, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. Well, it is getting soon to when my husband's supposed to be home, so I'm going to actually save now and call it quits. I'll probably be picking this up very soon, though. Which is weird. I didn't think it would be... I know it was supposed to be. I did not expect it to be this open-worlded. If that makes sense. Ah! No. Like, I thought it would be a little bit more linear than this. But I'm not saying that as a bad thing. It's really good. Alright. Well. I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me, Phantom.